Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I thought I would address the insipid, repugnant, crop deaths argument once and for all. I just went for a run, got my head shaved here, thought I'd shave my head because barbers are shut, so I always used to shave my head and yeah, I thought keep fresh and clean. Crop deaths argument. Now, people think they're so smart when they drop this, oh, vegans kill animals too, like it's the first time we've ever heard that ever. Like, I hear that 45 times a day. And what baffles me is that when people say this, they think they've they've got a, oh, gotcha, we gotcha, vegans, we gotcha, you kill animals too by existing. So, veganism's completely debunked. Now, these people have never looked up the vegan society definition of veganism. Don't look at the dictionary definition of a vegan. Veganism is a way of living which seeks to exclude as far as is possible and practicable, all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose. So two things here, as far as is possible and practicable, and all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to. Now, exploitation, the animals in those crops are not being exploited like the cows in a dairy farm are being exploited, used, abused, used for the benefit of the oppressor. These animals are free and they started living in this crop and a combine harvester might come along, they get a chance to escape, okay? They have a chance to escape. Those pigs in that farrowing shed are being exploited. They never see the light of day. And their only escape, their only chance to escape is when they get a bolt gun in the skull when you eat their body parts and flush them down the toilet after you've shit them out. That's a lot different to what goes on in a crop when they're being harvested. As far as it is possible and practicable, does that mean shoot yourself in the head because you're always going to cause some type of harm? No, it doesn't. People who eat meat, cheese, milk, and eggs are obtaining these products from animals who were fed plants. They ain't living on air, these animals. Now, what people imagine, I, I suspect, is that when they see cows on the grass, they think they're just eating the pasture. All of these animals, the chickens, the pigs, which you never see, you never see the pigs on grass, do you? They're always in sheds. Or you'd think they're, they're pasture raising pigs and pasture-finishing pigs and grass-finishing pigs in sheds? What do you think these pigs, chickens, cows, farmed fish are eating? They're eating plants. Now, if you're going to use the argument against a vegan and go, well, you know, like, um, you're eating plants and they use pesticides on those plants and combine harvesters, oh, they rip up the, those, those massive fields of wheat and they're killing all these animals and the, the, the mice are being exposed to predators and the farmers are shooting animals on these crops and they're trapping animals to keep them away from the crops and they're killing wild animals to keep them away from the crops. If you're going to use that argument against a vegan, but we can use that argument to tenfold, a hundredfold, a thousandfold back to you because all those animals on earth being bred for food at any one time, 74 billion land animals being killed for food each year by human beings, right? And trillions of marine animals, but just the land animals alone out, outnumber us 10 times, tenfold, okay? And these animals, they eat magnitudes more food and water than we do, magnitudes more food. Now, the, all that food is being grown in crops. The vast majority, the vast, vast majority of cropland is grown to feed the animals you eat. So any crop death, any uh, pesticide um, harm, any uh, predator shooting, any of that is, is magnified, magnified by huge amounts when you eat animal products. When you eat a steak, the crop deaths in a steak is magnitudes more. I can't even think of the number. I mean, we could try to do the mass, but we don't have to. We don't have to do the mass, okay? A two-year-old uh, beef cow or a six-year-old dairy cow, six years dairy cow, six years of eating grains. And before you 
dare say grass-fed, though. I only eat grass-fed cows. I only drink grass-fed dairy. My, my chickens are free-range, so they only eat the pasture. That is a load of nonsense, okay? Grass-fed cows are eating harvested hay. I've looked up all of these, like, you know, you, you, your most... Oh, like, oh, I went through Australia, um, America, UK, all these pasture-fed, you know, cattle, uh, pasture-fed Cattle Assurance Australia, fa pasture-fed Livestock Association. Here's, here's a little uh, note from American Grass-Fed. <laughs> so here we go, forage protocol. If you think, oh, well, my cows are grass-fed, so they never incur crop deaths, because they're just, what they're doing is they're just eating the, the pasture, they grow. They, they live on this pasture, right? They eat the pasture, and then they they get taken to the slaughterhouse from the pasture. So they're pasture raised and pasture finished. They just they graze on the grass. That's nonsense. They don't. They don't. In winter, they're kept indoors and they're fed uh, grasses. This is the top of the line. Most people ain't eating this. Most most uh, cattle, they might be grass fed for a certain amount of time, but they're they're grain finished in feedlots, okay? So they're eating a bunch of grain. So there's your crop deaths argument out the window if you're eating beef. So even this super high quality grass-fed, grass-finished um, beef, like let's just say, this is their guidelines here, grass and forage must be the feed source con consumed for the lifetime of the ruminant, except for milk consumed prior to weaning. The diet must be derived solely from forage appropriate to the species, okay? Grass, annual and perennial, okay? Now that grass, do you think that grass is coming from the, the, the pasture? Or are they growing that hay and harvesting? Have you seen those big blocks of hay? You ever drive past the farm? See those big, massive, big, big, huge sheds full of hay? Where do you think they got that? They harvested it. They harvested that hay, okay? Crop deaths, pesticide use. What, what else? What do you think? <sighs> and that's what they feed in your grass-fed cattle, no crop deaths. Okay, Forbes. What's this, Forbes? Oh, that's legum legumes and brassicas. More plant foods being fed to these cattle. More plant foods. Magnitudes more than a human could eat. You ever seen the size of a cow? Cereal grain crop crops harvested in the pre-dose stage, stage. So what they do is they grow grains, right? And when they're just before they grain, they harvest them. So they're pre-grain crops. They are pre-grain crops. So they're, 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 they're growing these cereal grains and they're harvesting, harvesting them before they're grain, so before they get turned to grain, so it's still counted as grass-fed. So they're using all of this land to grow cereal grain crops. Then they're harvesting them before they, they, they start to grain. So that all that grain could be used to feed humans and you wouldn't even need, like you, you could reduce the farmland on earth by 75% if we adopted a vegan diet, and that was Joseph Poor from Oxford, Oxford University after doing all that research. But we could reduce our, our, our farmland by magnitudes if we all ate plant foods. But the point is, they're growing all these grasses and pre-grain crops, that they're harvesting them before they even grain just to feed to cows so you can have your grass-fed steak, right? Which is incurring crop deaths, uh, pesticide use, uh, predators are being hunted by the, the, the farmers. All of these things are happening for, the, for, the, for these, the top of the line, the top of the line, pasture raised, um, grass finished uh, beef. You find, like, I've looked into this. You look into this. Australia, Brit uh, Britain, if you're buying your top of the line grass fed, it's super expensive. No one can afford it. It can't feed the population um, Ponzi uh, grass murdered animal. They are all fed by these guidelines, forage protocol. Okay? So it, it includes all of these things. So there's your grass. I only eat grass fed, so it doesn't incur crop deaths because they, they they live on the pasture. You don't. You haven't even looked into what you're eating yourself. This crop deaths argument is repugnant. And it's easily debunked. When you when you eat vegan, like you can you can of course, you know there there is worse crop farmers to support and better crop farmers to support. When vegans are in charge of crop farming, that'd be great. Veganic farming is what we should move into. Um, we wouldn't have the need for massive monocrops like the way that we're doing it now if we didn't have 74 billion land animals to feed. <laughs> That's just insane, ridiculous. The, these problems are magnified thousands fold because of eating animal products. Uh, you know, chickens. What do you think chickens are eating? Grain. What do you think the chickens that are laying your eggs are eating? Grain. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of grain. That environmental destruction in the Amazon, you know, all that grain, that soy they're growing in the Amazon. 
uh, like a large majority of it is used to feed chickens. So chickens, your your habit for eating chicken flesh is causing the destruction in the rainforest. Anyway, I'm an animal rights activist, so this is an animal rights um, topic for me. Now, if you're going to use that argument against vegans, you better check yourself because vegans are doing their best to minimize that type of harm. Now, I want to leave you with this question. When you pay someone to stab someone to death to eat their body, okay, you pay someone to stab an animal in the throat, cut their throat open, and chop them up into a billion pieces so you can eat their body parts, right? Is that really the same as buying a piece of tofu? Is that really the same it, in, on the, in the moral plane? Do you really think that me paying a hitman to murder someone is the same as me buying some rice which incurs some crop death. When you pay for animal products, it is as direct as you paying the, 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 the wholesaler. One or two steps away is a bolt gun in an animal's skull. That's how direct it is. When you eat plant foods, you cause magnitudes less indirect harm to animals. You cause magnitudes less crop deaths. If you think this grass-fed thing is like, oh, we cause no crop deaths, they're giving them harvested crops. Like I said, brassicas and pre-grain crops, same shit. This argument needs to be put to rest because it's just going to get destroyed over and over and over again. If if you see a bunch of people who are uh, uh, protesting pedophiles and child abusers, why don't you just walk up to them and go, oh, what's your problem? Why are you protesting against child abuse and children being tortured and killed? Don't you know that, you know, that bread that you ate, that also kills animals? So morality doesn't exist because there's no different levels of morality. It's all as bad as each other. Me paying someone to shoot someone in the face is exactly the same as me buying a bag of rice. Me buying a computer is exactly the same as paying for an animal to be raped and killed so I can eat their body and steal their breast milk and murder their infant. It's exactly the same. There, there's, there's no differences. There's no levels to morality here. That, like, morality shouldn't even actually exist. Because when I bought this camera, it was exactly the same thing as paying for someone to shoot someone in the face. You know what I mean? That's how insane you sound when you go, well, I'm, I'm going to continue eating a dead body of an animal who was tortured and killed for me. Because you've got an iPhone, or vegans kill animals too, or just by existing, you're going to be causing some harm. So... You can't ever be 100% vegan, even though they haven't looked up the definition of vegan ever in their life. So anyway, there's a lot more things to go into here, um, but I'm just going to keep it like that. So if you've never seen um, this, this is the number of animals killed to produce 1 million calories in eight food categories. This was the research conducted um, on the total amount of um, harvesting deaths to the deaths of slaughter for each product here. Um, you can look at that as well. That might give you some interesting information. But don't claim to give a shit about animals in any way if you're eating their dead body. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you're staying safe with all this coronavirus stuff. Hope you like my new haircut. Um, I harvested my hair here. See, cut it off. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.